These are our stories. This is how we are living my Alaska. McCarthy, Alaska is situated in central Alaska almost to the Wrangell St. Elias Mountain and the Wrangell Mountains. This is the Kenny Lake Mercantile on your way to Chitna. Um, this is probably the only one of the few and only food stops on the way in and they're very friendly and helpful and there's good supplies in there and there's a fuel stop here as well. Some of the scenes at the Kinney Lake Mercantile, these classic old cars, they've done a great job. The Chitna Post Office, that's a historic little place, it's been around for a very long time, very small, quaint. Um, they do such a great job maintaining these old buildings and maintaining an old way of life. This is a fish wheel, famous fish wheels. These fish wheels uh, are placed in the rivers around Alaska and they catch salmon as the salmon swim upstream to spawn. And it's how uh, many people feed themselves and get supplies for winter and many of the dog mushers, especially professional dog mushers, get enough fish to feed their dogs for the racing season. This sign here tells that all entering Wrangell St. Elias National Park Preserve, much of the land along this road is privately owned so they ask you to be respectful. The Chitna Village Corporation is uh, and the Atna and the National Park Service, these are um, some of the native peoples of Alaska that own some of this land and they ask you to be respectful. The famous single path bridge on the way to McCarthy, it's a stunning view and a deep gorge and a very narrow one lane bridge so be careful when you're heading over and people seem to be quite polite. There's not a lot of traffic there so you can take your time and um, there are pull-offs on each side of the bridge so if you see someone coming you pull off and let them come across and then you go. And this is us coming across that bridge. As you can see it's narrow. It's plenty room for our very heavy camper van. But it is a one lane bridge so don't try to cross it with anyone else. As you can see there's an oncoming RV. As you come across that bridge if you're driving do your best to focus on the road and resist the urge to look down or look over the side. It is a, an amazing view and whoever's riding with you can take pictures and, uh, or video and that would be good to see later. Or if there's no one coming, stop for a moment and have a look over. It's, um, it's quite an intimidating view to look over and see the water way down there in the bottom. In the back of the picture is an old railroad trestle from the time of the mine and it's still standing and it's in disrepair so they ask you to stay away from it but it's a fantastic glimpse into what things were like at the turn of the century when they built this mine. This was our campsite next to the river in McCarthy. That river comes off the glacier. And um, now this is dry camping. There are no services here. There's no power. There's no water. A little bit of drone video having a look at the footbridge. Campground to the left, McCarthy to the right. and the Kennecott Mine in the far distance. And that is the glacier that's receded and left all of that sand. It was a sunny day, quite cool in the evenings, but sunny and relatively warm. I believe this was uh, early to mid-June, and it worked out quite well for us to walk into town. I believe it is about a one, one and a half mile walk from our camper over the footbridge and into McCarthy. And it's a lovely stroll, and it's a wonderful thing to do. Portable solar panels plug directly into the side of the van. Inside the town of McCarthy, various points on the map tells you how far you are from other places in Alaska. The famous McCarthy metal sign. So we didn't try to use this phone, but apparently you can use this phone and reach out to services and get help. This is the famous rigor mortis. This is found as you enter McCarthy on the side of the road. It's a very early model gasoline powered vehicle that they used in McCarthy. It's good to see a church on the way into McCarthy. This is the town, the town sign as you enter McCarthy. It gives you a summary of what you can expect, what to see there, and what's available. 
Main Street in McCarthy, Alaska. One of the proprietors in McCarthy, he's quite the successful entrepreneur and very creative. He brought some of these old cars in and um, restored them. And he holds a parade several times a year with these old cars. We weren't able to go inside this very large building. It was not open. It looks like it's sort of in a state of disrepair. The people who live in McCarthy are diligently working to restore all of these buildings and open them up for tourists and people who visit. And I found the folks of McCarthy to be extremely friendly and welcoming. One can walk from the town of McCarthy to the mine, but it's quite a long walk. It's better to take the tour bus. They have a little uh, shuttle bus that will give you a very brief ride up to the mine and they drop you off here. This shows the historic mill town that was McCarthy. They had a big post office here at the Kennecott Mine next to McCarthy. Some of the old buildings you can see this one has been restored at least on the exterior. They're, they're doing a really great job. This is a fantastic photo of the Kennecott Mine. You can see the mine itself up at the top of the hill with the conditions of the buildings and how they are in desperate need of repair. And they are slowly making their way up to making those old buildings usable again. This mine has been out of operation for many, many decades. This is one of my favorite photos. This evokes images and feelings of a, of a bygone era, something out of a movie and something out of some sort of Lord of the Rings, you know, a Hobbit movie film. It seems unreal that people built this and lived here and worked here so far away from anyone and everything. It must have taken tremendous energy and resources and dedication and hard work to build this place. The ore from the mine traveled more than 1,500 miles to a location where it could be processed and moved out further to the lower 48. So my wife and I, standing at one of the buildings being restored, it was a fantastic trip, wonderful place to see, wonderful place to experience. We will definitely be back to this place and take many more hours exploring because there's so much to see, so much to learn. This photo is a great example of how Alaska and Alaska Wilderness reclaims what you don't claim for yourself. Anything in Alaska that is left behind, the Alaska's nature aggressively and quickly overgrows and overtakes anything that you don't constantly maintain. The weather in Alaska is such that everything is, it seems to be in a constant state of disrepair and it takes a tremendous amount of work to keep things functioning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, McCarthy, the town of McCarthy itself is a warm and inviting place. It's a challenge to get to, which makes it even more fun and rewarding of a place to visit. Um, Anchorage to McCarthy is quite the drive, roughly, what, three hours plus. The last 60 or so miles of that drive to McCarthy is a gravel road that is full of potholes and it's very slow going. I believe our speed was roughly 20 miles an hour for the last 60 miles, maybe sometimes slower. But on excursions like this, it's more fun to take your time and see the sights. Um, you, there, are, there is plenty of room for small campers like our van, but there are no resources there. There's nowhere to plug in or get water and a convenient spot. So be sure and bring what you need with you for a few days. There is a convenience store in the town of McCarthy. And uh, it was not free camping. We did have to pay to park our van there, but it was an affordable rate and a wonderful adventure. We will definitely be back. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos because we have so much more to share with you as we show you what it means when we say we are living my Alaska. See you next time.